Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here and thank you so much for visiting me today. So this project are inspired from Pinterest. So I hope you will learn something as well, just like me. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, so with this particular project or DIY that we are going to make is we are going to need a, I got this from the Dollar Tree, a Mod Podge, if you have a Mod Podge. If not, it's fine, you can use regular glue, like Elmer's glue. I have this one that I have, it's the Distress, Distress Stain, so, I have that for a long time. This one, you need this. And any words that you want, maybe your last name or anything that you can put on, but for now, it's the one that I have, which is Believe. And this one, I don't know if we're going to use this one, maybe this or whatever, but this is what I used for this project. And of course, I recycled book that you don't want anymore. Dollar Tree, they have books in there in that corner that you can buy so you can use this. This is what I have right now. So this is what we are going to work on. All right, so let's go. And of course you are going to have your glue gun. All right, first what you need to do is you are going to turn this way, the back of this front cover it should be on the opposite side now so it should be the inside should go closest to the skin of your book so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to manipulate this paper of this book so then I can start gluing it you can use a liquid glue but for now, I'm going to use my glue gun for this video tutorial purposes, okay? And I'm going to start gluing them. Next is I'm going to open this part down here so that I can start gluing. You can do however you want it. Anyways, it's going to be glued by Mod Podge anyway somehow at the end. So right now, just so I don't want this area open, so I'm trying to glue it. So they are all glued and it should look like that. So now you are going to start coloring your book. I'm going to use this as my protector on my mat. Alright, next I'm going to grab my Distress Stain and I'm going to stain this book here. So, yeah, let's stain this up. I usually do, what I usually do if I don't have a plate, I just grab a plastic. And, you know, like if you have a dabber, like bingo dabber, I think you can use it too. But for now, I'm going to use this one for mine. And what I did is I just dab it on my plastic sheet just like so. Alright, so all we have to do is we just have to wait until they all dry. Alright, there you go. Then next we are going to cover it with a Mod Podge. 
The reason I want to cover it with the Mod Podge is that if just in case I spill a liquid on the item that I just made, I don't want it to to get ruined. So I have this Mod Podge which is a sealer, so which is good. If you use a Mod Podge, it's super perfect. <laughs> wait until it all dries and we'll see how it goes all right I think it is dry as you can see super glossy and awesome so I made three of these that's one two and three as you can see guys it's very very sturdy and beautiful I like it so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put this one at the bottom and I'm just going to stack it. So all you have to do is just stack it and just like so. There you go. And it should look like that. Super cool. Alright, since it's stacked, we are going to use this burlap ribbon remember guys that what i'm going to use in this project is from the dollar tree beside this okay i got this from joann's and you can use a coupon if you're going to purchase this and or you can just use regular brown paint or somehow what color paint that you want to stain your project just like what i'm doing right now i'm staining my project so I'm going to use this burlap and I'm aiming to glue them over here to the top okay so this is how I do making my own bow when I measure it I just put the item or the lace or the burlap on it and I just roll it just like that and then roll it and just keep on rolling so you have kind of like rolls inside and out and you will have a pipe cleaner if you have a pipe cleaner that would be awesome and this is what I use and all you have to do is just twist and twist so just twist and keep on twisting until there you can feel it when it's tight okay and then you can hide this one underneath if you don't want it after that then you can spread that just like so okay and you will have a nice bow going on your area and then you can live it just like that if you want to all right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to play around with this little i don't know what this is but jute i think it's a jute somehow I also tie a longer rope on this so I can attach this here so it looks like it's together you can leave it like that if you want to you can add something like this for that or you can add some bling I have a tons of bling I got this long long time ago you can add them over here on top there you go so there is my little project that I just made look how look that bling is super super bling you can leave it just like that 
or you can use these on top without this and there you go it's all done and I'm going to show you the closer look of the project that we just made all right <music> I think that's it that was super awesome and easy and I really enjoyed making it the one that takes time to work on is the painting the drying and then the painting and then you have to wait until the paint will dry and the mud podge will dry but anyway thank you guys for staying with me you guys are awesome thank you so much for being there and thanks for staying with me you guys are awesome and have an awesome awesome day Bye.